everyone. So I am starting off a week in my life video because I know you guys love these ones so much because I think they're fun too. I got a really intense spray tan because I have a shoot on Tuesday, which is why I'm kind of orange, but like bear with me. But today's video is actually sponsored by ThreadUp. And I know you guys probably have seen a bunch of people talk about ThreadUp. I've been using it honestly since my senior year of high school, fun fact. I looked for prom dresses on there and that was like literally 2011, so wow, that was a long time ago. So why I actually like ThreadUp is because it's giving old clothes new life. I think that's really, really important because when I was in high school, I actually did a lot of my like shopping at secondhand stores and that's why I liked thread up because I personally like to shop online I got some workout clothes because I'm one of those people who just I don't really get spending a lot of money on but like workout clothes so when I can find it secondhand I'm like that's really cool so they actually have a bunch of brands on there they have like show me your moo moo free people all the good stuff made well lovers and friends lululemon all of them and so this is this is a box polka dot it's easy to spot out and okay so i'm still waiting on one item it will come in the mail but i did get some workout gear so the first thing i got was this sports bra and still got the tags like Hello. I like that it's a high neck one. I got this sports bra for $16.99. It was normally $54. That's an insane price. My entire order, I saved over $500, which is a lot of money. And then I got this green sports bra. This is from Nike. I actually love Kelly Green. It's my sorority color. Kappa Deltas, if you guys didn't know that, that's what I am. This one was actually $13.99. I couldn't help myself. These were the coolest shoes I have ever seen. I've been dying to wear them because I actually got this package in the mail the other day. And this is by the brand House of Harlow 1960. These are smoking slippers, flats, whatever you want to call them. And they are so cool. These are normally $300. I got them for $72. I love a good like crossbody bag that can carry a lot of stuff. I had one of these bags back in the day and I still like them. I still see people wearing them and I ended up finding this bag you guys marked down insane and it's just like the perfect staple. It's a black Rebecca Minkoff bag and it's crossbody so it's not the mini mac which is the one i had growing up this one's actually bigger which i love about that because i carry so much stuff in my bags 300 dollars, and i got it for 108 and if you guys want 30 percent off your first order on thread up be sure you use my code i'm going to put it on the screen right here i actually used a code to get my stuff 30 percent off too so low key that saves you so much money 30 percent is like a lot like that's like a third so i was talking to you guys about this before but i got my joybird um swatches in the mail and i was talking to you guys about this um on instagram stories but I want to get a sleeper sofa um, in my next apartment so then when we have people in town, whether it be my parents, Cody's parents, my friends, his friends, whatever, um, we have they have somewhere to stay that's not an air mattress. And so I picked up all these samples from Joybird and just because I really am one of those people that wants to see the fabric in real life before I buy something online. I like was showing these all to Cody and Miller. I was showing Miller them too. Right, Miller? Weren't we looking at these together? These are the ones I've narrowed it down to. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. So I have these split up basically if it was like, I'm going to get a sleeper sofa for the office or the sleeper sofa for the living room. I have these three for the living room picked out. This one is Cordova Mineral. Look at that. That's pretty. Then I have this black velvet, which is so soft. I'm probably gonna go with the velvet. Um, and I have the onyx and I have the gunmetal too, which I think would be really pretty as like a sectional couch. But I don't know if this is too harsh, which is why I picked out this one too. And then these are the ones if we end up putting the sleeper sofa in the office. If I wanna be practical, I would get this color. This is Impact Flurry. And then I have this Royal Peacock which is a velvet too. And then I love this one, but obviously Cody's not like wild about it, <laughs> but it's royal blush. I don't even like pink. Why do I always pick out pink stuff? I don't get it. I'm gonna be like looking at these for like a long time. So it is what it is. Oh, I guess also while I'm here, I'm gonna update you guys on the apartment search. So this, I'm filming this part on Sunday, February 7th, 18th. I wanna explain to you guys what's going on 
and why we're kind of back on the drawing board when it comes to apartment searching so then the rest of the video kind of makes more sense but basically cody and i have been trying to get to this townhouse that we are obsessed with um ever since last year when i toured it and i have been on my a game like literally if you guys don't know this about me i am super organized like plans and stuff like that but like really messy and like real life and get skinned out by the box <laughs> our lease isn't up until april but i basically made it known by these people this company that we would be willing to move in march if that meant like we got the spot that we wanted. I would be willing to pay you that extra month, which is not ideal, obviously, but if it meant having a happy place where I like feel at home in and that I like will see myself staying there for like more than a year because I'm like so sick of moving. So we've been on the wait list since January. We have paid our application fees, everything like that. Late January, they contacted me and they'd be like, hey, are you interested in moving in February? And at this time, they had reassured me that I would have a place to move by April. They never told me like this would be my only opportunity to move basically. And I was like, you know, I prefer to move in March or April. Never emailing me back and telling me basically that they were willing, that they were covering the cost of February's month. Um, they never gave me any of those details. So then it's basically what I had asked them to do. And we went to the open house that they had and they ended up not posting like which unit it was. So Cody and I were just like wandering around trying to figure out which one it was. There was no sign or anything like that. I emailed them. I was like, what the heck, which one it is it? And they ended up emailing back too late. So I had emailed them back, followed up multiple times. They never answered. And then I got an email saying I was on the wait list which obviously I knew. And I was like, well, can I get the unit that's available now since you guys have it one month free? And they gave it to someone else. So then I called a girl and I was like, what's going on, girlfriend? Uh, you guys told us that we would have a unit by April so we wouldn't be just like tossed into the wolves or anything like that. And she basically was like, sorry. And this entire thing could have been avoided if they just would have answered one of my emails. Like, I would have had that apartment, which is so annoying. It was just, like, one of those things, like, I have been on my A-game about this. I haven't missed an email. I followed up every week kind of frustrations. And so that's why I've been upset. And that is why we are on the hunt for a new apartment. Um, we are looking for two bedrooms. So let's go and uh, tour these apartments. I look super dewy right now because I just got a spray tan. Um, yes, I like to spray tan with my makeup on. I know that's really weird. It still goes, like, soaks through my skin. It's really weird. But anyway, um, now I'm going to go get my lashes filled. That's so cool. Right? It's so cute. The way you guys decorated the places, too, are adorable. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love the circle mirrors. They're so cute. And it's the same size. That's just a shower. Mm -hmm. Each of our Ooh, two bedrooms, closet. two bathrooms, one with the walk-in shower and one with the tub. Okay. I like your guys' uh, anthropology bags. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I clearly shop there too often. <laughs> oh, this is the smaller of the two? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Do you know what the uh, dimensions are for the bedrooms in here? Pretty. This is cool. Good morning! So now it is Friday and my brother's coming to town today, but first I'm touring some more apartments. The first one I'm touring, I'm not really like that interested in, but I figured at this point we gotta tour them all. And then do you guys have a policy when it comes to paint? So it's raining 
as you can tell but I don't really like that unit it's not my favorite that I've toured ever um, I'm kind of over apartments being like gray I know that's really petty and stupid but obviously when you're paying that much money in rent you want it to be perfect so now it's time to go tour the second place today. It's got the Canon Mark IV. Oh, nice. It's fair. I do have two Canon 70s still. Uh, but yeah, I was started with Nikon and I've gone from that. But no, they're, they're definitely great cameras. One of my guys, the, one of my best friends who still is doing that film, um, he's, he's Canon all the way. Been full time for about four years. Mm -hmm. But I mean, once you have the passion, it doesn't go away. Yeah, understandable. Okie dokie. So, just toward that one. And it's okay, too. I mean, I guess technically, like, it's fine. But it's just not, like, enough lighting. $100 under budget, which is always good. So a lot of things to think about. I know Cody would really like that one because it's close to his gym and it's also um, Just like really close to his work too. So that would be nice but It's not good for my work because there's not good lighting Gotta weigh the pros and cons. Hey guys so I didn't get to end my vlog, so I wanted to jump on real quick and end it for you guys. But right now I'm headed to a wedding shoot. Don't forget to check out my thread up link, which will be in the description below. And let me know in the comments below which apartment you like the most so far.